Hello people. Today I just want to talk to you about the progress I've been uh, making. Um, and I've been working on a way to model levels in Blender. And I've been able to actually import those levels into my uh, game. So this is the level I've been uh, I'm working on. Like, very, very simple. Based, basically made of like modular uh, items, so you got your floors, walls, and essentially like portals or doorways you can, like, can walk through. So it's, it's a very simple level, there's nothing too intricate about it. But just here to provide like a, an example uh, of a level I want to import into my game engine and see how it works. So as you know, my game engine essentially runs on, it's essentially a portal based engine which means in order to import this level I need to slice it up into different uh, regions and then have these regions been connected through portals so when a camera is like looking at a portal inside a region you can actually see the region on the opposite side of the, of the portal and it's like a recursive process so you can see multiple regions through multiple portals um, that's basically what's what happens and you can basically see this live video like 14, 13 uh, where well, basically you have like a, a flat of like a thousand stories, uh, but whilst also like a single floor, only to render that particular floor and all the floors that may be visible through the uh, through a stairwell. So this is the level I'm working on. Um, I create like a few shortcuts just for now. Um, I mean, essentially what I can do is model the level, and essentially everything else will simply be um, figured out through like some algorithms. So creating. Um, so it's like convex um, regions, basically great portals where necessary and that kind of stuff. All right, for now, I basically did this myself. So I basically got vertex groups, which uh, divides the all the vertices into different sections. Now you have update, not now. Um, so got section one, section two, section three, well, etc. So I think you get the idea. So all these sections will basically demarcate like which vertexes are part of which sections, and there's no overlap. Now in order to add the vectors, I again did this manually by essentially creating adding like a few planes into the uh, the level. So all these green uh, planes are portals. Um, I mean for now, only thing you need to do is like these planes need to have like portal in the name, and that's like enough. And basically, then figure like well which regions are part of like this particular are correct with this portal. So in this case, for this particular portal, um, I'm not sure which reason, I think reason 4, nope, 5 and 8 maybe, nope, 9, nope, oh well, anyways, you get the idea. Um, yeah, so this is being exported through using basically a custom export I've written in Python called the export for portal level format format it should be. <laughs> uh, so it's like a PLF file which will basically give a list of all the vertices, give a list of all the sec uh, sections per section which vertices are part of it. Um, also gives information about the uh, UV mapping, um, normals, all that kind of stuff. And then there's like a basically a whole set of portals which will basically tell you which regions are uh, linked through that portal and essentially like all the points which comprise the polygon, which is the portal. Um, so one other quick note, uh, at the moment I force that like every mesh only uses a single uh, single image, a single texture. So in this case I basically created an this texture which com basically contains texture for the, for the walls, the floors, some cementy stuff for the um, I say for the uh, for the door wells and then like some carpet stuff for the uh, for the staircases. It's nothing too fancy, but you know, just to uh, get some idea of how this uh, would work. So let's go to the actual game engine. So it's probably first time we could see guys see some of the code here. So what I'm going to do now, um, I'm essentially going to um, load a single section, so I can see how single section looks like before I basically unleash the entire level uh, onto you. So in this case I basically want to look at section 0 which will translate to looking at this particular section here. 
so this is all we should uh, should see when we start up the, the game, nothing else. Um, so we don't look at any portals at the moment. So it's going to compile this, load this up, and then uh, you guys have a quick look how that uh, looks like. Bum, 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 taking sweet time. Uh, loading symbols. There we go. And there we go. So, so as I can say, this is the first region. So if you look in the top left, it will basically give us the frame rates, about 200. Um, base location of the player, and then it says inside the region, and then tells within brackets the name of the region, in this case S0. Uh, because there's no portals, we can't see beyond this region, so we only render whatever's inside the region. And we move out, it will basically tell us we're in no region, top left. Uh, and that would basically render everything, including like this greyish area we were standing on. But when we're inside, all that doesn't get rendered because there's no portals which links the inside to the outside. Now, we're going to extend this by essentially rendering all the uh, all the sections. Uh, but again, leaving the portals out of it for now. So in this case, we only see the actual separate sections move into. Um, so we can only see the first section, but when we move through the doorway, we come to like a different little section, but we can't see anything beyond that. And we move this direction again. We're basically moving through all the, the sections, but because there's no portals linking them, we can't really see what's behind them, unless we actually move into that particular region. So, let's load in the portals as well, so we can basically get the full experience. So this will be all the sections with the portals, so now we can actually look through the portals and basically see all the all the sections through these, uh, these portals. So as you can see here, you can now look through the sections, and because it's a recursive process, we can see multiple regions if the view of Frostum we look for from the camera, it dissects in a new region with different portals basically updates it until either you hit the um, you know, either there's no more portals you can look through or if you basically hit like the the back face of the uh, of view frost room. So to basically make this more explicit um, so even if you just like move about the camera you can basically see we better render more or less depending on what's visible to us um, and the portals will essentially help us do so. So if you look through here, there's like a little portal here, which allows us to look from section four right now into section seven. Um, but if we basically don't look at the portal, we see the entire section seven will be become invisible. We don't need to render that. And the same goes essentially for all sections. So this, like in a flat demo, like in demo thirteen, I think it was, we got like a thousand-story building. We can essentially get like really good frame rates, even though it's like a massive complex structure. And the same goes here, even though it's a very small level. But the level could be like a thousand times bigger than this, and we still will essentially have the same frame rate we have now, which is quite nice. And that's essentially the aim of this, uh, this particular portal system. Um, there's a few, few bugs, so as you can see here, there's like the normals here aren't particularly what they should be. So it's a bit dodgy. I think here, like one of the normal spaces, face the wrong direction, so we can actually look into the into nothingness. Uh, and I need to add, I say, um, collision detection. I mean, collision detection is in the game engine. It's just not part of the um, well. It's not part of the level design yet, which I need to uh, I need to change. Um, so yeah, you can basically walk through through walls, and that's not really what you what you want. So yeah, still a few things to uh, to figure out. I'm not sure what this, what this is like acting weird. So yeah, like I said, a few things need to need to be changed. Probably because of course maybe you face the wrong direction or something silly like that. So yeah, still a few things to figure out. But I just want to give you guys a quick update. Um, so the next step or next stage in this uh, project is once all this stuff is working, I'll basically create the level which is bigger than this one, um, and then have a monster chasing you. The monster in question being this beach, you know, from the last 
as I from the last uh, episode we uh, we did. So this is the beast that basically will uh, will hunt you. And with this basically walking clunkily walk animation. Rawr. <laughs> Don't be too harsh guys. My first time ever going in uh, like a walk animation. I thought it was pretty good. But anyways, so that's all upcoming process. Um for now I just want to see like the level uh basically the export I've uh, I've created. Um, so yeah, so after like this box have been ironed out, I'll create a pathfinding algorithm using nav, uh, mesh-based navigation, um, and then have a monster chase you, and that will be essentially like a second game demo I'll uh, create, and I'll like here's what happens. Thanks for watching, and I'll 